About 45 minutes ago, the DC Universe Twitter account released a trailer, which I speculated in yesterday's video, and it has a lot to go through, so let's get through it. First up, we come to a spot where it shows some content that will be on the streaming service. You have your classic Wonder Woman, Batman, and Superman movies, and they're all present here. Same goes for the animated content. You have some Teen Titans, and not Teen Titans Go, thank God, and also some Super Friends, which is actually pretty surprising. So it seems that there will be some deep cuts from the DC Animated Library, which will be showcased on this service. It's even going so far to include some of Superman's very first animated shows. Then we get another look at Robin from the Teen Titans show, followed by some animated versions of the logos that we've previously seen from these new shows, which look pretty cool in my opinion. Now, now, this next part has me really, really excited. It includes animated movies. Now, this is a no-brainer because some of DC's best content is animated movies. So, the fact that it's all going to be in one spot is amazing. You have your Flashpoint, your Superman, your Batman, it's all here. Next up on the DC content that the streaming service will contain is DC movies, which is revealed in the video where they show a lot of old DC movies, but no DCEU movies. I have tweeted out to them, but there's no response yet, and I'll make sure to tell you if they actually respond to me. And next up is a big one for a lot of DC fans, and it, that's that they're going to have comics. Now, I wondered if they were going to include any DC Rebirth comics, and it seems they are. You can see the Wonder Woman Rebirth comics right here, so it seems they are doing just that. Now, for the people who are not in the US, you won't be able to access this, but there is hope. If you tried to sign up and you're not in the US, you got this message which says, sorry, this video is only in the US. We'll announce when it's available in your region. Now, this isn't confirmed but it does hint at it making available in other places other than the U.S. Maybe seeing the reaction to this in the U.S., they'll judge if they should go full in on it. I really hope they do because there are a lot of DC fans that are not in the U.S., so it would be nice that they have all the DC content in one place, just like the people in the U.S. Tell me what you think about this streaming service info that we got from this trailer down below in the comment section. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching my video, and if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button and leave a like down below and check out some of my other content that I've recently done.